Good morning, Ephrata. My name is Jordan. My name is Peter. And today is Wednesday, November 20th. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. Coming soon, Rachel's Closet. Friends of Rachel is collecting gently used or new clothing. We are looking for sizes to fit teens through adults. Please bring in your donations to room 121 between now and December 13th. Thanks for being a part of the chain reaction. And now over to Vlad for the thought of the day. Good morning, Ephra. My name is Vlad. Will Smith has once said, too many people spend money they haven't earned to buy things they don't want to impress people they don't like. This quote is helpful because maybe we should actually start focusing on things that matter. Thank you. Hey Peter, do you want a library fine? No. Well this doesn't apply to you then. So uh, <laughs> the library will be running a food for fines event. What does this mean you ask? You can bring in canned food products to pay off the fines you owe for overdue materials. The food for fines event will run until November 26th. Each can is worth 50 cents up to 8 cans worth $4. Canned items can be brought to the front desk of the library between those dates. All canned items will be given to Ephrata Area Social Services. Now, over to Natalie with the news. Not so pale. You're on it. Gotta put on my specs today to read today's news. University of Miami professor Bruce Bagley, the country's expert on organized crime in Latin America and particularly on money laundering, has been detained by U.S. authorities for laundering $3 million from Venezuelan public works projects. Of the $3 million in the laundered money, about 10% went to the 33-year-old's pocket. I mean, not the 33, 73. He's not that young. Look at him. I don't like him. On the same history, in 1946, the Nuremberg trials began. 24 high-ranking Nazi officers were tried for their atrocities committed during World War II. 12 sentenced to death, 7 were sentenced to up to 10 years in prison, and 3 were acquitted. Also, one died during the trials, while another was deemed too insane to stand trial. Now over to Dylan with the weather. Weather update. Yo, it's your boy Isaac Dune here with Santa Claus. It's 1660. We're taking a vacation in Hawaii. I'm going to tell you the weather real quick. Time is of no importance to me. Uh, tomorrow, or today actually, I mean, uh, it's going to be cloudy and sunny, but we're going to have a high of 50 with a low of 33. Thursday, a little bit of clouds and sun as well, high of 51 this time, and a low of 42, so a little bit warmer. Friday, it's going to be rather cloudy, maybe a little bit of rain, you know what I'm talking about? High of 57, low of 32, really hot, really cold. You get both ends of the spectrum, you know what I'm saying? All right, Saturday, it's going to be cooler, rain in the afternoon, like right after school probably. High of 43, low of 33. It's getting a little bit cooler. Sunday, partly sunny. So see some rays out there, all right? For high of 47, low of 30. Monday, mostly cloudy, not so many rays. High of 47, low of 27. That's below freezing. Water freezes. Go ice skating. Tuesday of next week, clouds and sun. Clouds and sun, that's why I said, yeah. High of 49, low of 35. And then next Wednesday, a couple of showers are possible. We don't know for sure yet, all right? Let's look about, look. We'll look it up, get, let you know, all right? High 53, low 38. And that's the weather for you. Hey, Santa Claus. Morning, Ephrata. I'm bringing you the lunch for the 20th. Um, we have Mountaineer popcorn chicken bowl with a whole grain roll. Looks like we have that uh, margarine, too, on the side. Garden burger cheese with a whole grain roll. Barbecue chicken patty cheese, whole grain roll. Uh, turkey BLT flatbread. Taco salad. Steamed corn. Whipped potatoes. Grape tomatoes and dip. Mandarin oranges. Fresh fruit or a... Uh, Slushy. Start. <laughs> to 
today there are no uh, sports resorts to report so uh, I'm just going to tell you something about our major sports. Uh, last night LeBron James became the first NBA player to score a triple double against all other 30 NBA teams. The LA Lakers faced off against the Oklahoma City Thunder and had an overall victory with a final score of 112 to 107. Now back to the main desk. The coolest teachers of Ephrata High School have eagerly volunteered to help out Ephrata Minithon with the second annual Pick on a Teacher Day. Bidding for teachers continues this week during lunches, so be sure to bid for your favorite teacher so you can choose their wardrobe for a day. Check the Schoology Update page for the list of participating teachers. Bidding ends on Friday. Don't pick low pick because uh, Wyatt called dibs. Ski and snowboard sign-ups are happening now. See Miss Brim Hall in room 228. Hold your place with a $50 deposit. We ski and board at Bear Creek five times starting in January. Sign-ups for the club close on December 8th. Hurry to save your, save your spot. It said sixth, but okay. Oh, sixth. I, yeah, I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> With all those glasses. The Effort of Varsity Quiz Bowl team suffered a 0-3 defeat against the strong Hempfield team on Monday evening. The results of the individual rounds were 255 to 425, 215 to 520, and 220 to 430. Meanwhile, the JV team continued its winning ways, extending their overall round record to 9-0 with a 3-0 defeat of Hempfield. The individual round scores there were 270 to 215, 245 to one, I mean 145 to 130, and 240 to 215. Our next competition is this Wednesday as we travel to WGAL Studios for our first round Brain Busters match against Conestoga Valley. Oh yeah! It's that time of year again. It's time to raise money for our local Christmas charity. This year, we have adopted six local families with Ephrata, and we can love to make this the very best Christmas it could possibly be with your help. Your homeroom will be raising money for the Christmas charity. However, this week we are all going to try our best to get a head start. All week long, we are going to be playing annoying Christmas songs in between each class as well as lunches until we raise that dollar amount for the day. If the music is simply too much for you, you can't handle it anymore, you're just sick of it, just head down to the main lobby, find a student council member, and drop in a few dollars to turn the music off. Every dollar raised goes directly to the local families. Today, the total will be $80 if you want the music to shut off. Tomorrow will be $90, and Friday will be $100. Help us turn the music off, please, please. Ah. And that's it for us today, Ephrata. Ah. Have a good. Ah. Bye. Ah. Ah. Oh, my gosh. Jordan, oh, stop. God. <laughs>